Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to go through my step-by-step -step foundation routine. The way I apply my foundation, I do it the exact same for day and night, but just nighttime, I just step it up a notch and apply it a little bit more. I'm always asked on my Instagram and my Facebook page what foundation I use and how I apply my foundation. So today I thought it would be great to show you guys exactly how I do that and just dedicate a video purely to my foundation routine. Nine times out of 10, it's not really the foundation that I'm using, it's the preparation before applying my foundation. And that is super important, like anything like an exam or going on your holidays, the preparation is key. And Coco's making a good bit of noise over there. Sorry about that. Um, so yes, I have used an array of products today, all very affordable, you can get them in the chemists, most of the stuff. Coco, stop making so much noise! Um, for the other products that you need to purchase from the actual uh, maybe shops themselves, like one of the foundations I'm using is from Fuchsia, and Fuchsia is either in uh, Swords, Pavilions or Scotch Hall, Drahada, and also online, so I will let you know where to get all the products in the drop down bar below. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it, it is like an everyday look, I've done a bit of my foundation, well I've done all of my foundation routine, I've done a little bit of the eyes and kind of like my brows and my lips as well tied into that, and I'm going to come back with a full brow tutorial so I didn't spend too much time showing you how to do it today but I hope you pick up a couple of tips I hope that you learn something new and finally maybe your answers are or your questions are answered about how I apply my foundation and how I get it looking so flawless so thank you so much I hope you enjoy and if you want to see how I do it then just stay watching so I believe the preparation of having a flawless foundation is the most important part of course if we just pop on our foundation, we look great instantly, but then when we go out and do our everyday duties and our everyday tasks, it's gonna wear off and you're gonna be looking in the mirror saying, oh my God, my foundation is blotchy, why? Well, I believe that if you do a good few steps that I'm gonna show you now ahead of your foundation, it will last a little bit longer. As you can see now, I have absolutely no makeup on, so I moisturize first. The two products I'm using at the moment is the Elemis Pro Collagen um, Moisturiser and also the Kinvara Rose Hip Face Serum. I think I've reviewed that before on my blog. I absolutely love it. I can't live without it and I, what I'm going to do now is just mix the two of these together and apply them to my face. Now that's for my moisturiser applied and I've also applied just a little bit of Vaseline to keep my, my lips hydrated while I'm applying my foundation. The next thing I do every morning if it's for daytime foundation or every night is I apply my little bit of my number seven instant radiance beauty balm. This is like a moisturizer but it has a little bit of a sheen off it and why I like it is it's just like an instant pick me up for tired skin and because I'm always working late at night and I am a little bit stressed, I know you might think her job's stressful, yes it is stressful and um, I always apply this onto my skin just to give my face that little bit of a lift. And now for the third step in our foundation routine, I mix a little two of these babies. I love the number seven skin, skin illuminator. I have reviewed this on my blog. I absolutely love it. It's brilliant for giving your skin that glow and that sheen. So I mix a little bit of that with a little bit of my Bourjois Happy Light Serum. This is actually a primer. And if you want your foundation to last, I do recommend using a primer. Now using my Crown um, Small Duo Brush, and those two beauties mixed together, I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. Now I know you might think that that's an awful lot of product right before your foundation, but believe me, this is what works for me. And if you have the same kind of skin type as me, I think it will work for you. It just gives me that flawless look and it makes my foundation last. I'm gonna get straight into applying my foundation and then I'm going to conceal. For some reason, I don't know why I always conceal after I apply my foundation, so let's get started. At the moment, I am using the Lux Liquid Foundation from Glow Minerals. This was sent to me a good few months ago and I've just started to use it and I absolutely love it. I do find it a little tiny bit mattifying, so I do mix it with another foundation and at the moment, I'm mixing it with the Rimmel Match Perfection. I absolutely love this foundation. It's so affordable and a few people on my blog did say that they, they find it quite drying and patchy, but I always mix them. So when you mix it with another foundation, I think that kind of combats that. So I'm gonna mix the two of these shades and then apply them directly onto my skin. Ah. 
And for during the day, that is all the liquid I would put on before my mineral. Now, I did do a review the other day on a mineral foundation from Fuchsia, which I'm going to use in a couple of minutes, but I did say I always put a little bit of liquid on first just to kind of even out the skin tone and to kind of get that nice glowy, dewy, dewy finish. And I do believe that with a mineral foundation, with the Fuchsia one anyway, you can get that dewy finish, but I'm just so addicted to liquid that I can, don't think I can ever give it up purely for powder, so I do incorporate the two. So now that I have my liquid foundation onto my face, the next thing I go to do is fill in my brows. After my brows are done, it's on to concealer. Now at the moment I'm using the Wake Me Up by Rimmel London concealer. I just think it's so good. It also acts as a highlighter, which is why I kind of generally do it after my foundation. So I just apply that under my eyes. And then I kind of just bring it down along the side of the nose because this is generally the area that you'd like the light to reflect. So I'm doing a little bit of contouring without using the really, really strong concealers that I would tend to use at night time. I'm just going to blend in that concealer. And this brush, oh, due to the shape, is just brilliant for getting in underneath the eyes and it's really, really soft. So. I love it. I can't go anywhere without it. It comes everywhere with me. And now moving on to one of my favourite foundation products is the Fuchsia Mineral Foundation. I did do a review on this the other day on my blog. I will link it below in the description bar. I never used mineral foundations before. I hated them simply because I felt that they looked talky and powdery and just mattified. And I don't like mattified skin. I personally love a nice dewy glow. So when I tried this, I couldn't believe that I still had a dewy finish on my skin. And that is because there's no talcum powder in it. And now I'm going to apply it to my skin and I'll just show you the finish and the coverage that it gives. And I'm using um, Fawn for during the day and I use Toffee for night. And what I do is I just apply a small amount of the powder into the lid. And then taking um, like a kind of small um, bristles buffer, br buffer brush from Crown Brush. God, I can't talk today. Uh, what I do is I just swirl it around like so. And then I actually tap it like that. So the actual foundation goes down into the bristles rather it's sitting on top of the brush and then applying it directly onto your skin. And in circular motions, I just apply it all over my skin. And now you can see just how flawless that foundation looks on my skin how dewy it still looks, it doesn't look too mattified and there's brilliant coverage there. So that is how I apply my foundation and now I'm just going to go on a contour and just finish off my everyday look. Using my Fuchsia bronzer. This is a matte bronzer so it's great for contouring for during the day and also just an angled brush from Crown Brush. And then just contour under the hollows of my cheeks to give that a little bit more definition. After I have contoured, I always apply a little bit of blush to give that nice kind of natural pinky tone to the cheek. And at the moment I'm using Buff Orgasmic, which is like a pinky tone, but it also has like a bit of a sheen in it. So again, it's offering that lovely dewy and um, flawless look. So just taking a little bit there. I just tend to pat that just onto the tops of my cheekbones. I never sweep and I don't go into the apples. I think you like to keep this area here quite light and then the colour moving from maybe the outer part of your eye upwards. So just patting that on for a bit of extra colour. And that's it for my actual foundation routine. Um, I hope you picked up a couple of tips, but do stay watching if you want to see how I put a little bit more definition onto my eyes and my lips for during the day. So taking my Fuchsia Matte Bronzer once again and a blending brush from Crown Brush. What I do is just to give my eyes a little bit more definition is I just apply a little bit onto the brush and I then apply it just into the crease of the eye. 
And what this does is it just warms up the eye a little bit more. And if you're like me and you don't want or you don't like wearing eyeshadows during the day, this is perfect for just warming up the eye a little bit. I think sometimes when you just leave your eyes with nothing on them, they can look a little bit like they disappear. So when you put a little bit of definition into them without putting too much effort in, they just kind of jump out that little bit more. So that's why I use a little bit of bronzer simply in the crease. And I just finish off a little bit of mascara before my lips. So at the moment I'm using the Scandal Eyes Rocking Curves from Rimmel. And after I've applied some mascara to my eyes, I just finish off with a nice kind of natural lip. And at the moment I'm using this Revlon Color Burst Lipstick. It's kind of like a nice peachy nudie colour. It's perfect for during the day. And that's it. That is my everyday foundation routine. And then at night time, I just step it up a notch with a little bit more of every product that I've used there. And it stays on all day for me during the day. It doesn't look too cakey at all. If you met me in person, you wouldn't probably think I had that much product on my face of what I've just showed you. But yeah, that's how you get nice, dewy, flawless foundation. And if you've picked up a couple of tips today, please do let me know. And I will see you guys very soon.